I'm good. <laughs> I was talking and walking and eating fries at the same time. So again, it's another good example of do as we say, not as we do. That's right. Craig Shockley, always wonderful to see you, my friend. And Hi. especially when you bring us something like this. This is such an incredible offer, but first I have to give Thank you Thank you. Hi. How are you? Doing? How are Hi, you? I'm doing great. Um, Greg, an incredible chef. He also runs a catering business that, oh my gosh, I see you everywhere. Um, this is a top find in the show. This is Le Creuset, and this is a two and three quarter quart cast iron Dutch oven. I saw this on In the Kitchen with David, and I don't even think that the phones could keep up. It was so incredibly popular, and here's why. This is the perfect size to cook with every single day. This is also that heritage name of La Crusade that we know Julia Child, it was her go-to. We know that when it comes to putting on the registry, folks always ask for La Crusade, but they ask for smaller pieces because they think that it's too big of a request. This is what you are getting. We have it in Cerise, that's that beautiful cherry red. Right down in front, we have it in Cassis, that's that beautiful purple. Then the orange color that we have on the table down there, that's called flame. And then we also have marine. That's that beautiful stormy blue. Now at lacrusade.com, this piece, identical item, costs $250. Our sale price is $99.98. You're saving $150 at QVC2 today by shopping for this piece. Now, it has the upgraded stainless steel knob, which typically might cost you a little bit more if you right. ordered it special. Here, it's included in the offer. And Greg Shockley, um, this piece, I know I ordered, already ordered one this morning for my cousin. Yeah, you but, told me that. Yeah, but Good this is, though. yeah, it is. Um, but, oh, and I hope she's not watching. Rats. <laughs> Didn't think about that beforehand. But why are we so gaga for cast iron from Le Creuset? Well, I'll tell you what. Cast iron cooks like no other cookware that you've ever That's done. Right. The heat retention and the heat distribution is what it's all about. And why is that important? The heat distribution means that it spreads the heat out throughout the pan. So if you've ever used a typical pan, maybe in an aluminum pan, and you put maybe a, a steak or a piece of chicken down, they have hot spots, okay? So typically in the, in the center of the pan, yeah. where the direct heat is coming from, that's where it's gonna be the hottest, and then all around the edges are mm. kind of a lot lower temperature, so you don't get that nice golden brown or that caramelization that you want. What you get with the La Creuset is the fact that from side to side, all the way around inside of here, you're gonna get that same temperature. Even on the sides here, if you put it in the oven with the lid, you're getting that convection action from the lid, from the bottom, all the way up. And then the heat retention as well. It's gonna make sure that it, you know, when you put something in, it doesn't drop the temperature of the food. So again, that prohibits for you from getting that caramelization and the great results. So this is gonna help you actually cook better. Gorgeous. So not only you know you get great results, but you're gonna to wanna to cook more. You're gonna to like to cook more because your results turn out much better than they would have before. That's exactly it, Greg. And you know, we would love to hear your story. If you have a La Crusade story, we'd love to hear it. It's 800-600-1556. There is no reorder on this customer top rated piece. Also, yes, you're saving $150 today, but we also have five easy payments of $20. Every item in the show is on four easy payments or more but when it comes to Le Creuset, you can use this piece on all stovetops. I can use it in the oven with the lid. That Absolutely stainless right. steel knob yeah, we're means that. I can get all the way up there to 500 degrees. But the exterior enamel is going to resist chipping and cracking. That's what earlier I was talking to Gabrielle about Le Creuset. And she said, I don't know what's in there, but it's magical. It makes your food taste better. <laughs> it um, does. But we're going to take a look at a little video, and I need to know what those are when we come back. Those are um, our apple fritters that we just woo! talked about. Now, here's the fact. Remember, this 1925 that started, and they're still made in the same foundry in northern France to this day. Each one, black sand mold, individual black sand molds, and they're literally destroyed. So one is, each one is perfectly, it's individual, wow. and another, there's, the second one is not the same as the other one. They're broken out, they're polished, they get that first coating of the enamel, they get the outside coating, they get two coats of that, and then they're gonna get the interior sand coating like we have here. And then they're baked at an incredible temperature to kind of seal it in there and bond with a cast iron. And then they're gonna be packaged up. 15 craftsmen actually touched this pan before it comes to you. Oh, wow. I mean, what do you think that? Just to make sure that it's perfect for you. Wow. And my buddy Nate's going to wind up, you know, hugging this palette in just I was going to say, does it count <laughs> as 16 is. if Nate Collier is it, hugging it, the palette before it heads up? That's inspection 16 <laughs> and 17. I just want to show you 
We had lots of colors when this was introduced at this value. We are down to four, and quite frankly, four of our most popular. So Cerise is that beautiful cherry red that I just want you to see that lovely ombre, not only down the side of the pot, but also on the lid. So the Cerise is very popular. That is that cherry red. Then we have Cassis, which is that gorgeous ombre purple. Then we have the flame. This is the color that I do collect. This has that beautiful orange and the ombre kind of heading all the way out on the pot and the lid itself. Then over to the side, we have the marine. And the marine is a gorgeous stormy blue. But again, each and every color has that gorgeous ombre effect to it. Now, resist chipping and cracking on the outside, right. but also that enamel interior helps resist staining and dulling on the inside. But this also, I mentioned, we can use this pot everywhere. So glass, ceramic, induction, induction right. gas stoves, in your, in all your of oven. it. And we're going to demonstrate all that right now. But you know, the first thing, probably most people are going to wind up using this for their soups and their stews. Totally. And especially fall, believe it or not, as hot as it is right now, fall is around the corner. So it's <laughs> great for that kind of it's thing. It's cooling down at night here, though. It's nice. Now, as you can see in here, this is kind of developing that beautiful fond at the bottom of the pan. Those are those little bits in there that you're going to help create your sauce. You're getting that nice golden brown on all the pork right here. So this is a pork ragu that we're making. So you want that golden brown flavor at the bottom because mm. when we reduce this and then when we deglaze with our little bit of white wine and our stock, it's going to really create a sauce in there for you. So what we're going to do first there, Mayor, we've got our beef going, or our pork going, I'm sorry. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit of mirepoix. What's mirepoix, Mary? It is the, some folks refer to it as the holy trinity. Right. Um, it's a little bit of carrot, a little bit of onion, and a little bit of celery to get your stew base that's going. That's right. And that just kind of helps your stock going right there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to add a little bit of tomato product, tomato paste. That's kind of what makes helps make a ragu a ragu. Already looks delicious. And we'll go ahead, we'll add our stock with our white wine in it. And notice when I get to the bottom here, you're going to see all of those bits kind of released from the bottom. And you don't want to lose those. No, you don't. That's where the flavor is. That really is where the flavor is. That's going to release right in there. Yeah. Give that a nice stir. Okay. And then Mary. Yes. We're going to put our lid on. And before I do that, I just want to point out something. Take a look right here. This has kind of a lip on it right here. This is machine milled. Perfectly. Now this is a difficult process to get this this millage right on here, and it's going to fit perfectly right on the lid. Let's go ahead and pop that in the oven. Which one? I'll open the, the lid for you. First oven right here. Um, can I just remind everybody that this is the same La Crusade? This is made in France. This is the one that you've seen in the stores and on all the fancy cook shows that we have for hundred and fifty dollars less today. <gasps> oh, bubbly heaven. Beautiful and bubbly. Now it's all broken oh. down. You're going to see. When you cook with this, Great. none of that moisture is releasing from the pan at all because that lid, the seal on the lid fits absolutely perfectly, so none of that moisture comes in. Got so it's it. actually kind of a convection going on in there, and the steam is releasing itself back into the stew. Got it. Just look at that beautiful result. Oh my gosh. And, the, and the non-stick of that enamel interior is heaven too. So not just for your cooking results, but easy to clean up as well. What? Oh my gosh. Do you look great? We could just live in there for the next at least two weeks. That looks like heaven. Are these pieces, do I have this right? Are they dishwasher safe? They are dishwasher safe too, if you like to. I still like to hand wash I mine. Do. I always do mine yeah, too. Yeah, but you can. I mean, if you've, if you've got your pan kind of clean like you want to, you can go ahead and do that. Now, another thing is you can yes, see right please. here, I've got some apple fritters and you can deep fry with this. This is the perfect size pan. So it's two and three quarters quarts. So it's it's definitely the right size if you want to do you know a little bit of fries with yeah, it. Yeah. It's your French fries or the apple fritters like we have right here. But the great thing about the cast iron with the, that you get with this too is remember that heat retention that we talked yes. about? It's awfully hard to, um, to kind of cook it without a thermometer and with a regular pan because you're going to get variations in the heat when you add a cold food to it. The cast iron is going to keep that heat nice and steady so that you're not going to wind up with greasy food. So when the heat drops in a fryer typically, that's why you get greasy food. Got then it. it takes a while for it to come back up. Now you're going to get nice and crispy results. And look, just look at these apple fritters. We just dropped those in a few minutes ago. Come on, Greg. Those look fantastic. Right here. Yeah, they're yummy. They're nice and sweet. Put a little bit of honey butter on there. And maybe, of course, a little bit of powdered sugar. This is why his phone rings off the hook. By why the not? Way. Right here in front of us. Um, I just want to say to everybody who is thinking cast iron, it may be a little bit hard for me to use on a daily basis. 
This vessel is about seven and a half pounds. So think about your cast iron pieces that maybe grandma had or maybe the pieces that we grew up with. They are much, much heavier. Seven and a half pounds for cast iron is not bad at all. Definitely Let not. Let me show you your colors that we do have available because I know when it comes to making a choice not only for a gift, but if you are thinking of adding to your collection, this is the cerise. This is that beautiful cherry red in the ombre. Still very popular, and that is a great shot of the stainless steel knob. That stainless steel knob is typically an upgrade when you're ordering La Crusade, but here it's included in the offer. That means you can put it in the oven right along <clears throat> with the pot and not have to worry about the temperature at all. This is the cassis. This is that beautiful purple that I'd like to tip up and show you because it is that beautiful ombre color as well. It gets a little bit darker purple on the outside, but for those of you that love a pop of purple, I just like to say that um, we purple. do have the cassis available. This is the flame, and this is where La Crusade got its start. This is that gorgeous ombre <clears throat> orange. So you get kind of almost a red to the outside, but when you see it in person, you'll see that it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous family of orange color. Then we have the marine, and the marine is that beautiful stormy blue. I have to say, if you have a modern gray or white kitchen, that marine is going to look beautiful. You can leave it out on your stovetop. This is made in France. This is that La Crusade that you see at the fancy kitchen store. This exact pot, this Dutch oven, sells at La Crusade for $250. Right. You can check us. We have it here on a sale price of $99.98. I thought David Venable was gonna fall out of his <laughs> shoes when he saw this value. Then we put it on five easy payments of $20 because we understand that budgets are important. This also has that exterior enamel that resists chipping and cracking and that interior enamel coating resists staining and dulling. These are dishwasher safe, although I like to protect my nonstick, so I do hand wash mine. Um, but as soon as they're clean, I do pop them back up on the stovetop. There is no reorder. I don't even know how we did this offer the first time, let alone order again and do it a second time. So this is typically no reorder. But I mentioned how to clean, and so we have a little video okay. clip for that. Yeah, so basically, in most cases, all you have to do is really get a wet towel and kind of rub around. If you want to, you can, you can kind of do a, a pre-soak. You can use yeah. a little bit of baking soda. And sometimes, it's all you need is just a little bit of soap and some hot water and just let it soak in there. And then just use any kind of uh, scrubbing pad. That's and awesome. you should be totally fine. Well, we've been busy while you've been talking, too. What? So we, we bowled up our chilies. I, get, I said a lot of comfort food is going to come with these pans yes. as well. So we've got our chili. Remember, all that flavor, you're gonna notice the difference between the lid sealing in all of those juices and all that flavor mm -hmm. back to the food. Your chili's gonna taste better. We've got a really great um, turkey meatloaf, or turkey meatloaf, turkey meatball <laughs> soup right here. It looks wonderful. And then if you didn't notice, I just turned out this lasagna. Oh, I And noticed. if you've ever made a lasagna in a lasagna pan before, or, or um, you know, kind of a glass pan, it takes three days to clean it out. Take a look at this. I'm just peeling this back and you can just notice how clean the sides right are. You're gonna pretty much just wipe this out and you know, use a little bit of soap and water and you are ready to roll. Can you imagine just using a little bit of soap and water to get the pan clean after a lasagna? I mean, that's just unheard of unless it's Le Creuset. Here's the other thing too. We showed you searing. We showed you how you can bake in there. No, now we're you showing how you can braise. bake. But when it comes to frying, we showed you how to do. So, I mean, we can really use this for virtually everything. You really can. And since we're talking about baking, and I happen to have this hot oh. cornbread in my hand right now, I'm going to go ahead and talk about it. But it's really great. You get nice results. You get that crispiness on the outside, but you're also looking on the inside. This is cornbread. Cornbreads, a lot of times, they're very dry when you're cooking in normal. This is a little bit moist in the inside, but you get that nice crunchiness on the outside. So whether you're doing a bread or you're doing a cornbread, something like this, try it in your oven. It really works great because remember, that retention and the distribution of the heat, you're actually getting heat from both all the sides of the, uh, of the cookware right yeah. here. So that's why you get the crunchiness on the sides. And you know, if you're sitting here and you're thinking, this is true cast iron, this is true Le Creuset, we have them in four colors still, but if you're thinking, how are you guys able to do this? I don't know. <laughs> I just know that when I see it, I grab it and run because this offer is phenomenal and it's on a sale price of $99.98. Five easy payments of $20 are available, but at La Crusade, this same piece sells for $250. You are saving $150 by shopping for it today and I know so many